Hello there and welcome to my YouTube channel, Julie McNeil Crafts. So today I thought we'd have a little play with some of the Curious Wonders paper and our Edna. Basically I saw those, you know you're clearing up and that sort of landed on that and I was like, oh, I love the idea of um, Edna floating in a random fantasy sky. That just looks awesome. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but that's, that's basically going to be the starting point anyway. Um, I kind of want to build it up a bit more than just you know sticking it on the paper but that is going to be my starting point because I just love it now I want to have make sure that there's enough sky showing but I don't want Alice's head in it so we need to be aiming for about there I think so what we'll do is let's just get that stuck down and then we will see what occurs from there but yeah I just it's just especially the way she's coloured up they're all multicoloured it's sort of very fantasy anyway so the thought of her sort of floating away on fantasy clouds just appealed it appealed to my strange head right let's go for about that right so I've done that then I'm just going to get my bone folder and go across this is a bit like when you do wallpapering you're just making sure that there's no air bubbles and things like that so that by the time you know we're we're sending the card or playing with the card we've got a lovely smooth finish which of course is what we want so I'm going to chop this down and we'll see what we have Oops. Let's just cut the edge of my scissors there and create a bit of a rough edge, but that is nothing we can't fix. Hopefully we've avoided Alice's head. Yep. We don't have Alice's head in it, that's fine. We're not having to shout off with her head. We once had a, a tea party for um, Kezia. You know, back in the day when we could actually do things together. <laughs> I had an Alice in Wonderland themed tea party and uh, I dressed up as the evil queen um, and just went round to all the kids going off with their head. And they thought it was hilarious. Apparently that was the favourite part of lots of them. <laughs> I was like, we liked it. When that's Julia said, off with your head. Right, now let me see. The camera is obviously taking exception to that and not playing. So let's see, let's see what's going on. What's going on with the camera? Do not know what was going on with the camera there. No, I did have another piece of this paper that was scrap, um, and I want that pink cloud again. I think. Um, so I'm going to try and cut some of these clouds out a little bit so that we can use them. I want the pink one first so let's go with that first because I'm thinking that I sort of want her, definitely want her tucked, tucked behind the cloud. But it's not quite the right shape so we're just going to have to sort of pop it on an angle. or put some other stuff in front of it. So we've got, I've got this bit here as well. And we can make this work. I think this might be quite a, a simple card, but we will see. I might just add a little bit of stenciling or something just to Ooh, that's a bit nice, isn't it? We could have it. Right, let's get that piece in because that's working. Um, but I'm going to pop it 
on some PD foam first. I'll just take our Edna out for the minute. Um, but what I will do is I'm going to make sure that the 3D foam is at the bottom. I'm not going to stick all the way to the top so that I've got room to tuck things um, behind. And that will make life a bit easier. Right. Because if you stuck it all the way to the top and then you want something to go behind it, that is a pain. But if you've just given yourself a little bit of room, it's all wonderful. Right, there we go. Let's grab this. I wish that um, whilst I, like I seem to be making, I've made loads of, loads of cards tonight. I know that you're only going to see these sort of apart. But you know, I've sat down and made, this is like my third one in such a short space of time. I wish that um, some of my samples, say, uh, went a bit more like that. In fact, I'm kind of wishing that this one that I'm doing now was a bit of a sample. I might suddenly be in the hotel room on Saturday night changing <laughs> changing my demos at last minute. Right, let's get some more 3D foam on that. Thinking, I like these ones better. <laughs> always the way isn't it? I think I'm overly prepped though but I just wasn't feeling it today. Right, let's have that like so. Right, and then what we'll do is we will just neaten all of that mess off. And as you can see I've gone a bit far with the 3D foam there but that's okay, we'll just chop it up. I'm not bothered that my scissors are going through it because yeah, you can clean scissors and sharpen them. I know you're supposed to have separate ones and I watch people that have separate ones and yeah, that's not me. But, you know, I think I'm doing alright because these scissors are over 25 years old and I've been using them on all sorts of stuff for many years and they're absolutely fine. So, I think we're doing all Oh, look! Isn't that... Oh, I just love that! <gasps> I love it. I seriously am rethinking. I'm seriously rethinking my uh, stuff for uh, Monday because I love that. All right, let's get a marker pen around here just to edge it, frame it. there but that's all right because we will sort that with a doodly border if all else fails all you need is a doodly border and gesso sorry here in my mouth there a uh, doodly border and gesso and that fixes many craft 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 catastrophes I've now taken to using one of my daughter's uh, new phrases, which is, there's no such thing as a mistake, only sparkly surprises. <laughs> I love that. <gasps> Absolutely stealing that one. There we go. Let's get our Edna down the... Oh my goodness, I love this so much. Can you tell? <laughs> I just love it. Right, let's get a doodly border down and that will disguise some of the dodgy cut work and funny edges that we've got going on, see? And just make it look deliberate and everything will be a-okay. So I'm sort of doing my full stitching. Oh, I am seriously, seriously tempted to do this again as prep and have it for a day, have it for Monday because I seriously love it. Can you tell? Right. I'm going to do that and then I'm also just going to add a few little wiggly 
jiggly bits because I can and I like them. Right, I am thinking, there's a sentiment on one of them, I think it's on Prudence, that says something like, um, you have your, your wings already exist, all you need to do is fly. Because I'm thinking that that sort of suits this background. And I'm also wondering whether we should have some little heart dangles because I seem to be putting little dangles on everything at this moment in time but I'm thinking that let's cut out let's cut out a couple of these again this is from the Curious Wonders paper pad Tempted. I really think I'm going to do it. It could be quite a quick demo to do as well. Have it as a backup. Right, and I do have another Edna coloured, which would be wonderful. Right, I'm thinking that if we stamped those, let's do that, and that we could have those as little dangles, and then we could have our sentiment because I'm thinking almost like because obviously she's flown up there or you know that um, expression um, don't be afraid to reach for the moon if you fall you'll land among the stars I think it's that sort of two um, sort of meanings of both of those sort of represented in this design right let's just give this a bit of a moment to transfer especially as we've got like a silhouette stamp here we're really wanting that heart to be nice and black so let's oh look at that that's just a bit lovely isn't it right I'm do this one slightly off because i want this to be a longer dangle but i don't want it to be as long as two full ones if that makes sense this round so it's a bit more comfortable for me. Join those two up and again just give the ink time to transfer and then we can have those there like so. Right and then as I said we can get that sentiment out and pop that down. Now I'm trying to decide whether I want it on the card or if I want it on the paper. Um, sorry, I'm running out of patter. Um, whether to stamp it onto some of the remainder paper. Um, I think I would need some of the cloudy cloudy stuff though. Um, uh, maybe this. Let's see how we go. Okay, so we can stamp that. Let's take that off. I'm going to have to have a wee tidy after this one I think. It's a great way of using up the scraps as well. Okay. And then we can cut this down to size. Not bothered about 
end up being overly straight. Yes. So I don't know whether to do it like that or whether just I'm tempted. You know what? I'm not tempted. I'm just gonna. I'm thinking. I'm thinking that it might look quite nice just there. Or maybe there. Okay. Let's just go for it. There's no such thing as a mistake, as my daughter would say. Oh, this sparkly surprise. Okay, let's go for it. The concentration. I'm going quiet now with the concentration. Is that? Do we want some sparkles? I do also have ooh, a cool little embellishment kit that's on end of haul, but there's really not a lot of them. So if you fancy it, there's I think it comes with like ten flowers and um, a piece of ribbon, and then some of these sparkly bits and bobs. But I don't know whether some of these would be. Maybe some of these would be good. Mm, do you know? No. I think I need to stop faffing. She says, continuing to faff. <laughs> oh dear. No, I think I'm going to keep it simple. I really, really like that. Okay, I am going to clear my desk though. Okay, so that is my card all complete. I hope you like it. I hope you've enjoyed spending a few moments with me while we've put that together. Um, if you are loving the Quirky Bird, don't forget to tune into Hachanda um, on Monday, the 16th of November at 7am and 11am. Um, and you can see some more quirky goodness. If you have enjoyed it here on my channel, please do consider liking and subscribing and I'll be back with you very soon. Okay, take care then and goodbye.